See some people dress real fancy, which is cool, but I can tell we're in the same tax bracket, so that's comforting, okay? And I only say this because I did a show a while back for really rich people, uh, and as soon as I walked in the room with a backpack on, <laughs> they just knew I wasn't one of them. <laughs> It's like they could feel the poverty and the student loan debt emanating from my body, you know? <laughs> They're like, what is this peasant doing here? Let's get rid of her, right? So the show starts, the host says my name. People clap to be polite, okay? Then I walk out on stage, people start clapping even more. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, all right? I'm no celebrity, okay? So I grab the microphone and I'm like, <clears throat> Guys, I am not Malala, do you understand? <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize winning activist Malala isn't just telling jokes as her new side hustle. That's not what's happening here. <laughs> I like this joke because it really divides the audience. because it lets me know who reads and who doesn't. <laughs> so I like it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause some of you laugh, but you're like, ah ha ha, we'll Google her later. <laughs> so no segues, next joke. I feel like we need to make racism more equal. Hear me out, bit of a strong stance, but there's all this talk in America about this Muslim ban. And I feel like, listen, if we're gonna ban Muslims from America, fine, okay? Let's just do the same for white guys going solo to Thailand. Let's just spread that hatred even, you know? 